Could this thread up box be as good as my last one? Hello everybody. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Heather. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, thread up the real real Facebook marketplace. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach and player and I love Disney. So this is another thread up box. I think it is a designer box because I ordered three or four recently at a time. They are super hard to get, but I was able to get multiple. So that was really exciting. Um, if you like reseller content, like thread up unboxings, thrift hauls, what sold videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Um, that's my only thing left for me to get monetized in this channel. I have all of my watch hours and everything else. So really trying to get to that 1000 subscribers, which would be amazing. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. So we're gonna get into this. If you didn't see my last designer box unboxing, I will link it up here and you can go ahead and check that out. I got a dress that was new with tags and retailed for over $9,000, but I don't know what to do with it because it's just, I don't know. I think it's vintage. It's not a super well-known brand. So yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with that. I might contact my representative at the real real and just send her a picture and ask her what she thinks like if they would take it and what they would price it at because i feel like it's gonna be really hard for me to sell okay here is my box here's the top look i'm seeing shoes clothes and purses so i like a variety that is nice let me see where this one is from this one's from phoenix arizona my last one i still have it right here was from swanee georgia so Really interesting, I ordered them at the same time, but different locations. I'll have to see where the other two are from also, because I think I still have two more. Okay, so let's get these pants first. My first, oh no, this is not pants, this is a skirt. It kind of seems like Acris, yes. <laughs> I'm starting to kind of know, okay. Acris, Acris, however you say that. Um, here's the flaw that I'm seeing. It's kind of like some of the fabric is worn off right there. Uh, let me find the size, US size four. So. This brand is really expensive, but it doesn't resell for anywhere near its value, unfortunately, um, at least typically in my case. Since this does have that flaw, I won't be able to send it back into ThreadUp. Sometimes that's what I do because I think I can make more money on ThreadUp than I can myself. But if it has flaws, they won't take items or if it doesn't have a size. So I'm going to have to try to sell this myself. Hopefully I can still get it. I mean, at least my money back when I um, average out how much each piece costs. It's a nice like business skirt. I couldn't find a material, so I'll have to look that up more later. Okay, let's do this next clothing item. It looks like a dress. Okay, this is Millie, size four. I don't get Millie very much, but I don't see it very much. So I'll have to look at this. It's like a black little mini dress, floral. It has an exposed zipper on the back. It is cute. I don't see any flaws. So I'm trying to think, oh no, that's right here. There's just like this little snap I was trying to figure out. That's all there. So what I'm probably gonna do is look up comps for this style, try to figure out the name of the style of dress. I'm gonna see how much it's selling for on like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, where I sell the most. And otherwise I might send it back into ThreadUp. The only thing that's like kind of is like, do you think that shrunk? Because look at the lining that's showing down there. I feel like the top part of the dress possibly shrunk. So if you have any tips for like, not really stretching it out, but kind of, so it's all even, let me know. Okay, so that could be good, possibly, I don't know. Don't know about that style. Okay. I don't know about this. I don't sell scarves. Um, a scarf. I don't, I don't have very much knowledge at all on scarves. This says it's, oh, Etro. Okay, I've never, Etro, Etro, how do you say that? I've never got this brand before. So that's exciting for the brand. It's 70% wool and 30% silk made in Italy. So really good materials. I know this brand is really good. I have no clue how the scarf does. So cool. Really excited to have like a new type of item and a new brand that I've never thrifted before oh my gosh my last three things look amazing oh my god four things oh my gosh okay ah what do i want to pick out first 
okay? Christian Louis Vuitton. Um, help me with authenticity if you are good at this because I'm not. I've only had these once from a throw-up box. These are size 36. They're like a gray wool and leather heel. They look to be in pretty good condition. Here's the inside again. I know I've looked up certain things on how to tell that they're authentic, um, but I don't remember them. I'd have to look again. Let's look at this one. Oh my gosh, they're in such good condition, like on the outside. I don't see any scuffs or flaws at all. That's exciting, right? Okay, yes. What should I get out next? Okay, I have more Prada in my last bag. I got Prada. These are Prada shoes. They're kind of like patent leather with this silver buckle on the top. Just a small little block heel. These are a size 37 and a half. Um, somewhere in the bottom like normal, but I don't really see scuffing like up in the toes or anything, which is good. Let me get out the other one. Oh my gosh. This box is great. <laughs> These boxes are so hard to get though. Ugh. There's like a little bit of like, I need to just clean it off. It's like dusty, furry crap that's sticking to it for some reason. So I need to just clean that off. Um, since I opened the one yesterday and it was so good, I, as, I was like trying to refresh like every five minutes today on the site. But it's so tough because first of all, you can't just sit in your computer or your phone all day and refresh every five minutes. Oh, sorry. That scared me. I don't know if I made a scared face. My dog was just chasing my cat and I didn't know they were down here together. Ellie, leave her alone. What was I talking about? Oh, it's so hard to get them. You never know when they're available. And it's just, I feel like it's just luck. Okay, here's my next item. We all know this pattern and we all know what that means. That would be a Burberry. These are a pair of Burberry sunglasses. They have a cloth here. And it says Burberry here on the side. That says, same thing, <laughs> let me look. In the inside, it says 120 Burberry by Safalio, and then there's the numbers, so I'll be able to look up the style of these. I'm trying to tell if they have any scratches. This isn't my style. Even if they were, I probably wouldn't keep them because I literally lose sunglasses all the time, so I buy them super cheap. <laughs> Okay, there's one little spot. I'm trying to see if it's gonna come off like just quickly while I'm doing this video. I don't know if you can see. It's like right here. Let's see what they look like anyway. Hmm, interesting. Burberry sunglasses. I don't think there's any scratches, but I can't tell with that one little spot if it's gonna come off. So maybe I'll get my daughter's like glasses cleaner and work on that a little bit. Okay, um, that's exciting. I love this box. I saved the best thing for last, at least from what I think. Prada handbag. This is really heavy leather black Prada handbag. It has the crossbody strap. Let me show you all the angles. If you're interested in anything, if you ever see anything in my videos, you can message me. I'll have all my information down below as for email and um, Instagram. This looks super nice. Now, I'm also not very good with like authenticating Prada. It says it here on this little snap. So like if you know or tell me what you think, if it's real or not, I feel like probably it's super nice. It's very clean on the inside. Then it has another pocket here and then it has another pocket here. So Here's this, oh, I'm trying to see if I can show you. Prada Milano, it's like all spelled out in there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it looks good to me. Okay, so yeah, that's amazing. I don't know the style of this because I have no clue about Prada bags. So I'm gonna have to do some research on that. But I think this could be super good. 
Okay, guys, that's my box. Prada purse, Burberry sunglasses, Prada shoes, Etro scarf, Louis Vuittons, Millie dress, and Acris skirt. Let me know what you guys thought of this box. What was your favorite item? If you have any comments about authenticity or styles of these things, then you can help me out. Please let me know. And again, give this a thumbs up. I'll see you guys again soon for another video. Bye. Thank you.